When designing the master suite for the Ferguson family, we had to make the most of the limited floor plan. And the best way to invigorate a small space is by paying close attention to the details. My client really loves marble and she wanted it everywhere in her bathroom. So I thought if we're gonna do all of the same surface, why not do a play on pattern? So on the floor, as you see, we did a herringbone pattern. On the wall and on this arch, we did a brick pattern. And then if you look here in the shower, same material, but it's just a play on pattern. I feel like we've created a beautiful bathroom for these clients. It's stunning. There's also great statement pieces that really set it apart. Let's go check out the master bedroom. Since the client really wanted a large master bathroom, it really cut into the size of the master bedroom. I was really intentional about the way that the floor laid, whether it go horizontal or vertical. I really wanted this room to feel longer than it really is. And even with the diamond pattern on the wall, it really elongates the wall. It makes the room feel higher and taller than it really is. This was a large house, but there was a lot of fun design elements that we got to play with. I really enjoyed working on this one. This project was a flip house that Chip and I worked on and we just completed. And this little study nook is one of my favorite rooms in this house. I think what I really love about it is the idea that this was once just a storage room that had no purpose other than storing boxes, shutting the door and kind of hiding the mess. What I love about it now is that we've lightened it up we painted the floors, we actually accentuated the vault. So the current vault that's here was already here because this was attic space. So what I wanted to do was just add a little more character in here, add the shiplap that we ended up staining and distressing. And then we added all these built-ins. All I did was work with the outline of the room, created a built-in little nook, these built-in desks, and this fun little reading nook back here in the corner. If you have a room in your house that you wanna make more purposeful, livable square footage, work with the outline that you have, create unique built-ins, and if you have a vault, think of ways that you can accentuate and highlight the cool things about the space.